It kind of seems like they're trying to use every bit of my clock. It's been a little bit overwhelming these last couple months. I've been using a lot of my PTO days just trying to get a day off a week. Like it comes to the, it came to the point where I almost felt like I, I'm on, I need a break. But I'm not giving up on trucking. I'm not gonna stop trucking. Like I said, it's, it's still not like a hard. The job is not hard. It's just been frustrating lately. I'm just trying to change my life. I'm just trying to change my life. And at the same time while I'm doing that, I'm just trying to share some light, share some light. Welcome back to my channel on Deep Price in Real Life and on YouTube. And I know I ain't been putting out much content lately. I am still trucking. I just feel like that uh, what I do is redundant, so I really don't be motivated to record. But there has been some changes. About two months ago, we got a new dispatch manager, so things have changed since then. It, it does kind of feel more of a forced dispatch now. Communication is a little different now. I've had some frustrated times here lately. As of right now, I'm back at Fleet equipment trying to get something fixed on my truck got a fifth wheel issue my manual release handle is bent so therefore when i pick up a load like if i was to try to pick up a load right now i won't be able to release that handle because of, because of how far it's been done that release handle will be sitting on on the actual under plate of the trailer so too much pressure on that won't allow me to release it so therefore i have to bring it in now, in case you wonder how did that happen i was picking up a chassis i had i needed a flip i was in the rail yard i needed a flip for the trailer because one of the chassis the chassis that the trailer was already loaded on was bad it was out of date for inspection so i needed a flip so when i dropped that chassis and went to go pick up another chassis i had to pick up a chassis that was fairly close to, a, to another chassis, so I had to come in at an angle. I missed the pin the first time, so I was as I was pulling out, I felt a little snag, but I didn't realize what it actually was. So I was able to realign, readjust myself, and get hooked up to that chassis, pulled out, got the, uh, the, the, the container loaded onto the chassis, and as I went to go make the delivery, I realized I couldn't unhook from it. I did not record that, just didn't think about it at the time, but since I'm here today, I figured I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's going on. So now they got me together. They replaced the uh, release handle and the mechanisms inside. So I reached my fifth wheel. Should be all good to go now. As you can see, it's pretty level. Shouldn't be getting caught up on anything. Now I just gotta watch what I'm doing. All right, let's get going. I'm, I'm still at the rail yard. I'm in the wheel a lot, the off lot. It's right next door to the rail yard. Uh, I gotta pick up an empty from here and take it back to the drop yard. One thing I forgot to tell you guys, I don't think I ever showed y'all this, but uh, these little slots right here are called connectors. Well, these are the connector slots. It's at the top and the bottom. It's four, it's four of those on each side. When you're doing your pre-trip and uh, in a motor, you always want to check those out. I'm always looking, but I, I, I don't think I ever actually showed the camera or explained to the camera what that is. Because sometimes they stack these containers up, as you can see all the way over there in the distance. It's a bunch of containers stacked up. They usually have connectors on them, and sometimes they may forget to take those connectors off. And you don't want to be riding down the road and one of those things fly off on the on the highway or something. Look, like here it is. Let me show you one. See this? This thing is about 20 pounds. 15 to 20 pounds probably. Now, if that thing was to fly off and hit a car, you more than likely you're gonna kill somebody. So you can hear that as I dropped it. 
Now, you always want to check for those when you're doing a motor. I forgot to tell you. I don't think I ever mentioned that to the channel. But that's another thing that I'm always looking for. All right, one thing I know, at this time, I'm pretty much about to get caught up in uh, rush hour traffic. So this little 17 mile trip is probably going to take me about an hour and a half, to be honest with you, just because of the traffic. That's a good thing I get paid hourly. See, this happened every time I got to pick up a trailer from the track side on the, in the rail yard. It's always parked so close that I really can't get my truck in between there unless I come at an angle. And that's what happened to me last time and it ended up snagging my fifth wheel release handle and it bent it up. So, got to be careful when I do this. Did it again, bent it up. Uh, 